Now, KLBK's first warning weather with meteorologist Chris Whited. Well, we've had a few storms between Lubbock and Silverton late this morning. They were there for about an hour and then they dissipated and it's been quiet through most of the day with most of that activity in eastern New Mexico along the state line and then kind of slipping into the western portions of our area. Now, as those storms weaken tonight, they've sent an outflow boundary and that continues to move across the area. I'll show you that on radar here in just a second. Outside tonight, we do have a few clouds in the Lubbock area as we take a look at the live tower cam. Those clouds, of course, coming off of the showers and thunderstorms that have been off to our west tonight. So we'll have partly cloudy conditions for a little bit, but I think overnight we'll be looking at mostly clear weather for the area. Now on the radar, let's move up into the uh, northwestern areas here. We've still got some rain from Bovina to Friona, maybe a rumble or thunder or two, and also a little bit of rain getting ready to move back into Milshew. Otherwise, we're looking at this. That is the outflow boundary from these storms, and that continues to march its way through the eastern south plains. That'll be moving into the rolling plains. A couple of little showers trying to pop up near Hobbs. Now, overnight last night, we actually saw a few more storms pop up on the state line, so there still could be a, maybe an isolated storm across the western half of the area. 69 where it's raining in Friona, Muleshoe with rain nearby, 71, 83 here in Lubbock. No rain today, 87 in post, 85 over in the Spur area, as well as Matador. The wind across the area coming in out of the from majority of us to southeast, but with that outflow boundary kind of working through the area, the winds are briefly shifting back to the west and the northwest. Again, here's the activity this afternoon and evening, really hugging the state line, and then it kind of moves up through Muleshoe, Friona, and dissipating now. But as we go through the night tonight, as I mentioned, there could be maybe an isolated storm here in the western half of the area. We'll keep an eye on that. High pressure that's been sitting over over the areas to our east is actually going to build back to the west this week and as it does it's going to allow a frontal boundary to work into the area and as that front moves in we do see maybe an isolated storm or two possible in the area tomorrow we'll see some scattered clouds popping up and again there could be a stray shower or a storm popping up in locations across the area as far as your high temperatures shape up 99 in Littlefield 101 here in Lubbock Plainview's high around 90 98, even hotter out here to the east, 105 in Matador, 107 in Guthrie, Rawls in 101, 104 for La Mesa, 105 for Gale, and 105 for Lake Allen Henry. But some relief is on the way. We actually have a front that will move in here late tomorrow night and into uh, Tuesday morning. 75, some clouds around tonight. Tomorrow, one more day with those hot numbers. I've got Lubbock's high 101 and again, a very isolated chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. And we'll keep an isolated storm mentioned here through the week, but hey, take a look at the temperatures. We drop back down to 97 on Tuesday, 95 on Wednesday and Thursday. Now, some of the long range data is suggesting that temperatures will begin to uh, warm back up by the weekend here as that high starts to reestablish itself across the area. You know, I had an isolated storm chance in the forecast for today for the stuff in the western counties mm -hmm. and around uh, 10 30 11 o'clock this morning. We actually had some storms near Lubbock and we heard yeah. a little bit of thunder. Yeah, definitely heard that. So some rain would be nice. It Keep would be nice. The drought's starting to get it. a little worse here. We're mm -hmm. seeing severe and moderate stage drought in some areas. All right, we'll keep an eye on